Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. In this episode, we're going to have Darren Oleen share with you uh, his insights about having a super life. And also, he's going to dig into kind of those hidden secrets of water. Hey everyone, Perry Sinsley here, creator of the Power Blast podcast, owner of PutYourselfFirst.com. I'm a health and fitness coach that's helped thousands of people get healthy and fit. And I'm so excited when I can find uh, or invite guests onto our call and onto the show to be able to share with you just insights and wisdoms of things that you can do to live a healthy, fulfilling life. And uh, this is the continuation. This is part three now of uh, an interview with Darren Oleen. Uh, he is known as the Indiana Jones guy, the, the superfood hunter uh, that goes all over the world in search for nutrient-dense superfoods that can bring to us, educate us about those, and so much more. And in this particular episode, so hopefully you've listened to episode one and two. You can jump into this one, but episodes one and two rock. So hopefully you've, you've subscribed to Power Blast Podcast and you go back and listen to that. But um, in this one, uh, he's going to talk about uh, one of the chapters that's in his book called Super Life. And the chapter on water, I find so intriguing. And when he starts talking about water, you could tell he gets so charged up and so fired up about it that I'm excited for you to hear his passion, his insights, his tips about that, and what it, what you can do to make sure you're hydrated and make sure your body's getting what it needs. Let's get to it. Hey, I, I swear that you've looked at my notes before uh, we even got on here because you like segue in between <laughs> the, the very next one. I was going to talk about Super Life book. Uh, for those of you guys who haven't done it, may, make sure you get out there. Uh, Darren's got it on Amazon and probably some other many other places. Funny thing, this past weekend, um, uh, my wife's folks came down from Anchorage and we're just talking about things he knows that we're into eating healthy and working out and stuff. So he brings in this special book that he's been reading to come in and share with us. And he sits down on the table and he goes, I got a book for you to look at. It's called Super Life. And we're like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be talking to this guy next week. We know Darren. And it was just too funny. Um, so it, a lot of great things in that book. One that really hit home for me, and maybe because it's just such a simply overlooked thing, is the chapter on water. Uh, you, you care to elaborate a little bit on that? Because I, I, we are dehydrated. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Uh, you know, when nearly 10% of all Americans are not even drinking an ounce of water a day, and then by the time you hit about 35% of the people or nearly half, they're so under uh, hydrated, you wonder then, you start seeing the correlates between depression, fatigue, uh, needing to stimulate, to feel better. So water is one of those things, just like breathing. <laughs> it's... It's something to where, unfortunately, water has been altered and changed, but we have access to it, which is beautiful, because I've been in many places where they don't even have bloody access to clean water. So we have access to it, and you look at it, and you're like, cool, I have water, I turn my faucets and my showers and my baths on, but the water is not the same, man. It's, mm -hmm. there's, there's toxins, um, heavy metals, uh, pharmaceutical drugs, all of these things are proven. Uh, it's not me making stuff up. And, and we're drinking that stuff on a consistent basis. Water is magical when it's in nature. In nature, water is coming off of mountains, from glaciers, from under deep water reservoirs. And when it moves, it vortates. And when it gets this because essentially the, the magnetic resonance of the earth plus the, the ultraviolet energy of the sun mm -hmm. is creating an uh, electrolysis for that water, which creates energy, which activates water, which acts, activates hydrogen. Um, so water, I mean, it's a massive topic, um, but water, I, I can break out uh, like four little testing uh, things and I can tell you pretty much what the hell is going on in any kind of water that comes in front of me, and and so I dive deep, no uh, pun intended, 
into water. And it really comes down to we have to deconstruct water. We have to strip it of its unwanted chemical profile and signature. And we have to re-energize the water in order for it to be vibrationally and cellularly receptive. Um, because it's like if we're just drinking kind of water and we kind of filtered it, you're still dumping in a huge amounts of free radicals and particles that are causing your body um, some micro stressors. And again, things added up over time. So if you take water that's energized, hydrogenated, now you're bringing in water that it was meant to be, and that is an antioxidant rich water, a water that transports uh, nutrients in and out of the cell. It takes out toxins, it creates lubrication, it sti helps to stimulate and regulate the immune system, which is over 90% water, the brain, the central nervous system, over 90% water. And then the skin and the eyes and the hair and all of these things are mostly water. And when we're dehydrated, all systems get suppressed. Every system from your central nervous system to the circulatory, to the immune system, wow. to the energy systems, to the metabolism. So you get these people working out, working out, and they're not drinking the correct water hell, you can drink water and start losing weight because you're detoxing. One of the best detoxing things in the world is drinking the correct water. Wow. So I'm working on technology right now that's one of the best I've ever seen. Um, probably within the next two or three months, I'll have uh, countertop units that are on-demand, hydrogen-creating, um, longevity-creating uh, uh, water. Um, and I'm super excited about but one of the things that people listening can do right away is either get distilled water. This is the, the bare bones, right? Mm -hmm. Get distilled water or buy a countertop unit. But I would hold off until you see the unit see that stuff. I have coming. Um, or distilled water, reverse os osmosis water. At least you're now stripping up of its junk, right? Um, and then you can add uh, the micronutrient uh, or a, at least electronutrient rich Himalayan crystal salt, which will allow you need electrolytes in order for water to, to be conductive and to be receptive on a cellular level. And that's an easy way to get clear, clean water. Yeah. Um, about how much is that about an eighth of a teaspoon of uh, a, a, a pinch per eight to 12 ounces or a half a teaspoon per gallon. Half a teaspoon per gallon. Okay, yeah, because yeah. I, I think that's what I was doing. I was trying to drink about a gallon a day, I think, um, yeah. and on most days. So I was just mixing it right away because it was just easier. Yeah. So interesting. Wow. Yeah, I, totally, totally. That, uh, cha that changes people's lives. If you get hydrated correctly, and then if you actually taste uh, water and you use the correct water for a period of time, you'll never go back because you can just... You can just feel it, and then it shows up in a lot of different ways. And, what and about when people are traveling? Uh, you know, we can't carry a jug around of water. I can't go through right. an airport. I know you had recently had a blog post about for people that are traveling. Yeah, and you talked about a, a filter. Is that something that's easy for people to do, or so, is there a brand of uh, bottled water that we should look for? Yeah, so uh, I've tested many, and so usually the common one that you can find is uh, Smart Water. Smart water's tested really good. Um, that's one that as soon as I get in the airport, uh, if I'm on a long flight, I just I, I stuff right. four, four liters of water in me while I'm traveling. Um, and then uh, Fiji's okay. Okay. Um, not quite as good as Smart Water. Evian's pretty good. Okay. Um, so those one of those three you can pretty much find in any airport. Uh, and if you're out somewhere in the United States. Uh, and you find yourself a good health food store, Penta water and Essentia water are, are really good. Okay. Um, 
obviously I'm not talking about the plastic thing because you're out in the world. Hell, I have to drink it too. So it's mm. just, you know, on a consistent basis, you don't want to consistently be drinking out of plastic. Yeah. You just, that's just not a, not a good plan because you're, you're, you're getting PCBs and you're getting Other leaching stuff. from a, from a petroleum based product, which is plastic. Right. Yeah. Wow. So, so, you know, we want to, and, and, and you also have, uh, uh, hormone disruption within that, right? So estrogen disruption, uh, that can be caused. And certainly as young kids, keep them away from plastic as much as possible. That's a really good idea. Dude, this is totally awesome. Uh, the, the, the past episodes with Darren have been incredible. Uh, that was part three of a four part series. If you haven't gone back and listened to the other, other episodes, Hey, go back into your podcast app and download those and listen to them. Check them out. Uh, so it's totally awesome. You do want to stay tuned for the next upcoming episode. We're going to talk about, uh, we're, we're going to talk about GMO and, uh, just some of the things that go along with that. He's also going to talk about, uh, uh, a, a discovery that in Brazil with a, a super kind of a nutrient dense nut that he's discovered, plus three simple things that we can do to live happier, healthier, and have a super life. I so appreciate Darren for coming on, sharing his insights and expertise. And you can visit him over on superlife.com and check out his book, Super Life. The five forces that will make you healthy, fit, and eternally awesome. You can get that on Amazon. I'll include a link within the show notes. I hope this podcast has helped you. And hey, if you know of somebody that could benefit, please pass it on. That would totally rock. And here's another thing. If you are in a place where you're finding that your day is kind of out of control, you're having a tough time squeezing in, getting your workouts in, and just getting things done that you want to get done, you can download my free Fit guide at myfitstart.com. Hey, it's yours for free. I'm thinking of uh, I'm, I'm planning on creating a Facebook group around that, a free free group where we can all help support each other and really master and conquer our day. Comment below if you'd like to be a part of that, or even email me. That would totally be awesome. I appreciate you for subscribing and sharing this show. And if you could get over to the iTunes Store. Give it an honest review and rating. You can even do that in a podcast app. Just click on that super fast and super easy. You would absolutely rock, my friend. That's all I have for this week. Remember, it's never, never too late. Too late. <laughs>